question mark ash guidelines on the safe use of automated dispensing devices. Purpose. The purposes of these guidelines are to propose goals and objectives for the safe use of automated dispensing devices in the medication use process. Provide guidance on the safe use of automated dispensing devices to pharmacists and others involved in the medication use process. Advise vendors of automated dispensing devices about the safety needs of healthcare professionals who use their systems, and recommend standardization for health level 7, HL7, interfaces between pharmacy information systems and automated dispensing devices, goals and objectives. Specific objectives related to these goals may include the following. Question mark information necessary for appropriate medication management in patient care is accurate, accessible, and timely. Appropriate medications are readily available and accessible to meet patient needs within safety and security controls. Vulnerabilities to medication errors are minimized, and those that remain are identified, documented, and mediated. Staff members involved in the medication use process are safety conscious, accurate, and productive. Patients are satisfied with the quality and delivery of care. Medication distribution services are facilitated across the continuum of practice settings in the healthcare system. Resource management is improved by linking supply ordering channels to the medication distribution system. Billing accuracy is improved by allowing charges and credits to post when medications are dispensed from or returned to the automated dispensing DEVIC. Requirements Specific consideration should be given to Incorporating the use of automated dispensing devices into the organization's strategic planning I.E.com Ensuring that automation is compatible with the vision and mission of the organization Assessing the use of automation from a complete systems perspective Automated dispensing devices should integrate smoothly with other systems and Question mark processes, both manual and automated Interfaces with overall patient care computer systems especially must be considered. Establishing performance standards for safety, accuracy, timeliness, and costs. Determining the responsibilities of the automated dispensing device vendor and the organization for installation, validation, maintenance, education, operations, and troubleshooting. Assessing the impact of automation on organizational culture. Automation has a significant impact on employees, particularly pharmacy technicians and nurses. Optimal preparation and support should be considered. Ensuring effective education for the organization's employees who use the automated dispensing device or whose responsibilities are affected by its use. Developing an ongoing support plan. Medications are contained in and administered from single unit or unit dose packages. Medications are dispensed in ready-to-administer form to the extent possible. Medications are available for administration to the patient only at the time at which they are to be administered, according to the institution's policy. An electronic patient medication profile is concurrently maintained in the pharmacy for each patient and made easily accessible to the pharmacist. Medications are accessible to different categories of healthcare professionals with the ability to limit access based on policy or law. Sufficient quantity and appropriate location of devices to support intended use and efficient work processes. Selection of a location that minimizes distractions and interruptions during use. Consideration of surrounding workspace to allow efficient device operation and movement of staff. Ensuring appropriate ventilation and temperature control, including refrigeration for applicable medicated ONS. Ensuring adequate infection control policies and procedures are maintained when appropriate for the intended use and placement of the device. Ensuring appropriate and sufficient lighting to support the safe and accurate verification of medication orders, reading of medication labels, and administration documentation. Establishing proximity of the device to medication information and documentation systems. Selection of location or placement of the device that permits only the patient's caregiver's access to protected health information, and ensuring power and data connections essential to the operation of the device are included in the facility's emergency backup power and data management systems.
Interfaces with automated pharmacy systems. Proper planning should include the development of an interface strategy. Automated pharmacy systems interface with systems for pharmacy information, electronic medical records, admission slash discharge slash transfer, barcoded medication administration, BCMA, and materials management for various purposes in support of the medication use process, including the following. Commanding distribution of medications from the pharmacy location. Question mark maintaining current data on patient population including demographics and patient location, for the automated pharmacy system. Maintaining a current and accurate patient medication profile for each patient served by the automated pharmacy system. Maintaining current formulary information. Recording the addition, removal, or dispensing of medications from automated dispensing devices. Issuing charges for medications removed or dispensed from automated dispensing devices, if this is the charge method of choice and integrating with bedside point-of-care systems to assure accurate medication dispensing and patient administration. Safety checks. Any organization that uses an automated pharmacy system should have a written plan for the safe and effective use of the system. The plan should be developed by the pharmacy and nursing staff with input from respiratory therapy, medicine and other disciplines that may be affected by the system. The plan should address conformance with industry and government standards as well as accepted practice standards, potential sources of medication errors and the procedures to follow to avoid such errors, limits on access to medications, how medications will be packaged and labelled, including standardising and limiting available concentrations, how medications will be safely and securely transported from the pharmacy to the automated dispensing device. The use of clinical alerts for high-risk medications. How medications will be transported from the automated dispensing device to the patient to reduce risk of administration to the wrong patient or at the wrong time. How patient and medication information will be available and displayed while maintaining patient privacy. How user privacy, security and safety will be ensured. Procedures for ensuring the security of all stored medications especially controlled substances, with the process in place to prevent and detect diversion. Procedures for auditing all system transactions. Procedures for avoiding drug product cross-contamination, evident or trace amounts of a liquid or solid drug that may contaminate another drug or package. Procedures for identifying and removing medications prior to expiration, and Procedures for reporting malfunction or breakdown of the automated dispensing device. The organization should have a written plan for ensuring the accuracy of 1. Medications stored and accessed through an automated pharmacy system and 2. Machine-readable identification on medication labels. This plan should provide a thorough review of the automated pharmacy system to identify potential sources of error that may be introduced by the system policies and procedures designed to preclude errors, and a quality assurance program for reviewing override data and medication error data associated with the automated dispensing device. Profiling functionality should include transmission of all components of medication and I.V. orders, including drug, dose and or infusion rate, route, frequency, dosing schedule, and order start slash stop times. Ensuring that all patient care areas use the profiling functionality, including ambulatory and outpatient areas such as the emergency department, whenever possible. Limiting the variety and quantity of medications that are accessible without pharmacist review, override, and the option to require a double check, witness, at the time of dispensing of an identified high alert medication from automated devices especially when pharmacists review an order entry have not occurred. Monitoring and surveillance. The need for ongoing monitoring and optimization of the contents of the automated dispensing device by a pharmacist, taking into consideration such matters as evolving therapeutic trends, the differing needs of individual patient care areas, and the capabilities and safety features of the automated pharmacy system. Oversight of the positioning of look-alike and sound-alike drugs, high-alert drugs, 
and drugs with multiple strengths throughout the automated dispensing device as well as procedures to minimize the incorrect restocking of these medications, e.g., keeping these items as far apart as possible. Procedures to prevent and or minimize the return of drugs directly to the automated dispensing device by nursing staff to decrease the potential for error. Specification of the individual, S, responsible for adding, modifying, or reviewing formulary items on a regular and ongoing basis to ensure they correctly display an interface map. All man lettering, standardized concentration displays. And form designations are just a few of the many items that need to be maintained for safety. Procedures for keeping policies, procedures, and education current. Policies addressing drug product integrity, including the importance of accuracy and integrity of product labels, how to handle medications that are removed from an automated dispensing device but not used, how medication waste is accounted for, Checking products for expiration and beyond use dates. Identifying and following up on tampered products. Storing products and procedures for delivering medications to patient care units and individual patients. Controls that ensure accurate restocking of automated dispensing devices, such as access controls on drawers, bins, and pockets including software, restrictions in use of location lights and or locking bin or pocket systems that support safe access. Process redundancies to ensure correct restocking. Standardization of restocking procedures to limit process variation and, when the system permits, use of barcoding to restock the correct medication in the correct drawer, bin or pocket and, Controlling access to medications to limit the potential for inadvertent selection of the wrong medication. Security. Identification of the data to be captured and the reports to be generated for monitoring medication use, waste reconciliation, and discrepancies. Data and reports may vary by drug categories and requirements for control and accountability. Assignment of responsibility for reviewing reports. Scheduling the frequency of report reviews and reporting discrepancies. Assignment of responsibility for resolving discrepancies, scheduling the resolution of discrepancies, following up on unresolved discrepancies, and taking action if the discrepancy is not resolved on schedule. A description of the process for investigating trends and discrepancies and assigning responsibility for conducting the investigation. Appropriate access by personnel, including timely removal of access when no longer employed or credentialed by the facility. Determination of frequency of narcotic counts, who will perform them, and who is responsible for verifying that the narcotic counts were completed. Examination of charge and credit flow to ensure billing accuracy, and assignment of reviewing overrides to ensure the function is being used appropriately. Storage and inventory. The criteria should address the frequency and appropriateness of individual medication use, the effective use of reports related to the safe, accurate, and timely withdrawal of medications available through the automated pharmacy system, the party responsible for medication safety oversight and administrative control of drug availability in the automated pharmacy system, e.g., the Pharmacy and Therapeutics Committee. The identification of drug products that are considered inappropriate for inclusion in automated dispensing devices, e.g., products that have short expiration dates and economic loss through medication misuse, bill footage, and diversion. The plan should be developed by the pharmacy, with input from nursing, medicine, and other disciplines that may be affected by the system. Education. The organization should have procedures in place for ensuring that all staff members who use the automated pharmacy system receive adequate education, both initially and on an ongoing basis. Ensure that adequate resources are provided for effective education. Ensure that the content of the education programs is continually updated. Evaluate staff members to ensure competency in the use of the automated pharmacy system and document the evaluations. Share with staff members the lessons learned from the evaluations and discuss medication errors related to the automated pharmacy system and near-miss reports. 
include at least one higher level user group capable of managing and supporting the system and its end users.